Referee, Mike Fraser, Ben O'Keefe. Let's the ball go early. Buddy, buddy, Parkinson caught in midfield. Tokolahi with a short ball. Yeah, look, the breakdown area is probably obviously the most complex area of our game. It's it's the one area of our game we've, we've got the most of, anywhere from 100 to 200 um, breakdowns in a game. So we are seeing a lot of them and there's a lot to process in that one moment. But the way I like to think about the breakdown is to try and look at it in its entirety, look at it in a big picture sense, I suppose. If you start trying to drill into too much detail, you can get yourself confused um, and get a little bit lost in that detail. So I like to stay in the big picture initially, at least, who's got momentum into that breakdown, into that tackle area, who's got the support numbers there, and, and then that'll, that'll give you a pretty good idea of where your decision making needs to go from there. Really, the, the key thing for the attacking players or support players of the ball carrier are their actions when they're going into clean the breakdown. So what we've started to talk about um, in recent times is we want to see a driving action, not a diving action. So what that looks like for us as referees is uh, the cleaners, the attacking cleaners are coming in and driving a defender or a tackler off the ball carrier rather than just diving dangerously onto a player on the ground, tucking a shoulder, um, that's dangerous play and not something we want to see. Like I say, I think the important part is the driving action. They, they will up, end up off their feet, that's the reality of that dynamic phase of play for, for, for the breakdown. Um, so it's more about making sure they are driving through, following their feet and it's a driving action with arms wrapped to, to move that player off the ball. Yeah, look, the, the tackler is our, is our absolute priority and, and it's got to be the first priority where we're looking for that tackler basically to get out. And the quickest way and the path of least resistance is to roll, we call it east-west. So out to the side, not back towards the half-back and not back onto the ball. So out to the sides and if we get that, then we get a pretty good contest, a clean contest and a safe contest. A player who's been tackled, as we said, must release the ball. So they can release the ball, get to their feet, and then pick it up and go again, and that, that's good positive play. But one of the changes we've tried to bring in this year is make that contest area not only safer, but also fairer. So we want the ball carrier to make that ball available um, quickly, so that's why we've brought in the one dynamic movement. And we also want the defensive side, the jacklers who are in there first, to have a really good go at getting that ball. So if they're strong on their feet, balanced on their feet, targeting the ball, and showing us a clear lift, then that's the sort of picture we're looking to reward from those jacklers. So when we've got a ball carrier looking to keep the ball under their, under their stomach and, and, uh, and I guess protect it that way, that's, that's illegal and something we'd be looking to penalise. Yes, there's been massive focuses on, on the breakdown, especially in um, rugby that we've had this year. Um, a lot of the focus has all been about you know, trying to make the game obviously safer for the players, um, trying to make uh, it more fairer so there's more of a contest that's legal at the breakdown. And obviously, you know, make it easier for referees, coaches, uh, players, and everyone to understand the game. So there's been a real focus on us trying to be able to make that tackle um, like that. Um, as a referee, I think um, there is a bit of a process you, you go through, and you, I kind of do it in a chronological order around um, what should take place first. And I think if we imagine a, a bull carrier going into a tackle, um, the first thing is, is that you know I'm really hard, and I think as referees we should be really hard on making sure that tackler releases and, and clears that area. I think once we get that sorted, uh, we make sure that the ball carrier um, is able to place the ball and isn't moving forward, so another extra movement. And then once that happens, we're looking at making sure the players are arriving from both sides, um, they arrive through the gate, they arrive on their feet um, and can contest that ball legally. Um, so for me, they're the main things at the tackle.